Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Cops have arrested three people in connection with the horror murder of a Belgian woman found dismembered in Tenerife. Laura Trapaniers' lifeless body was discovered just days after she went missing along with her 71-year-old husband Mark Albrechts. The 66-year-old was found floating off the east coast of Tenerife near Arico by a fisherman on April 27. The corpse was severely mutilated, her limbs were reportedly missing and she had a bag over her head when discovered. Officials suggest Laura's body had been in the water for several days and an autopsy report confirmed a violent death. Three arrests in connection with Laura's brutal murder have now been made, Canarian Weekly reports. Two of them were made in Belgium, while the third was said to be at the popular hall's hotspot Tenerife. There are limited details on all arrests as investigations are still ongoing. The Guardia Civils investigation has been conducted with the cooperation of Belgium's federal police. A search notice for the couple was posted in May by the Spanish National Center for missing people after they shockingly disappeared. Their car, a blue Opel Maca with a Spanish license plate, is also missing. Laura and Mark were last seen on April 22 after vanishing from Adage, a town in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The Belgian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said they were aware of the disappearance. A spokesperson said in a statement, The Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Brussels and the Belgian consulate in Tenerife are following this case closely and are in contact with the other competent Spanish and Belgian authorities on this matter. One of the friends of the couple told investigating authorities that the couple seemed happy and everything seemed to be going well in their lives. While Laura has been confirmed dead, her husband Mark is still nowhere to be found. Unconfirmed reports in Belgium claim that a car and a body were allegedly found in the sea near where Laura's body was discovered. In 2021 a British man was stabbed to death in Tenerife in a suspected burglary gone wrong. The 31-year-old was said to have made a desperate attempt to flee his attackers following the knifing on a residential complex in the south of the island. The incident occurred in the island village complex near Playa de las Americas, where the late crook, John Palmer, set up his notorious timeshare business. Local reports said the stabbing could have occurred during a violent break-in at the victim's home. And in 2023 another Brit was left fighting for his life after being brutally assaulted on a Tenerife party strip. The man, believed to be around aged 30, was reportedly knocked unconscious by a punch to the head then suffered a skull fracture and internal bleeding when he hit the ground. 